Welcome to Guns Gear Network here, everyone. Thank you for tuning in today. Wanted to bring you this tabletop review of an item sent to me by Banggood.com. That's B A N G G O O D.com. So, this company, Banggood.com, contacted me by email and asked would I review some of their products. And they are a Chinese based company and they have a section on their website that has that's dedicated to all outdoor type gear, survival gear, you know, everything. So they asked me uh, to look through their products and would I review some of them and I made a short list and they sent me a few products in already for me to take a look at. And I've been using this item a little bit around the house with my kid, things like that, and I uh, just wanted to share it with you uh, this afternoon. It is called the Ultralight Envelope Bag and essentially what it is is a small, compact, lightweight sleeping bag. So if you look on the table over here, I have as a reference, that is a 32 ounce um, stainless steel water bottle. And I have the sleeping bag right beside of it. It does come with its own cinch sack uh, that you can put in a stuff sack that's uh, able to cinch it down. And in a few minutes, I will show you um, the, the bag itself and all that and kind of go over it. So it is uh, basically made of a nylon traditional style material that you would see on most sleeping bags um, it is breathable waterproof they say or water resistant at least uh, would I depend on it laying in it in the soaking rain probably not and we'll kind of go into that a little bit uh, later so why did I pick this uh, it's pretty simple uh, I wanted something that I could easily throw in a bug out bag, I could throw in my kids bag, I could throw in the back of my car, in my wife's trunk, whatever for emergency purposes. Um, so if you're looking specifically for preparedness in emergency uh, situations, that's one thing. If you're looking for just something kind of neat for your kids, something lightweight that you can uh, have them, you know, at a ball game because you can unzip this completely and have it wrapped around you, or you know, whatever, something to take on a uh, overnight with uh, your kid, and maybe spend the night with a friend, and want to take their own little sleep system so they don't have to depend on something that they may have or not have at the friend's house. Something like this would be great for that too. Obviously, I bought it more for a prepping and survival type situation, and so that's why I got it. Um, so you're looking at the measurements are about six point, it's six foot point two three inches long, and it's two foot point four six inches wide. Um, it actually unzips wider than that, but that's that's going to be when it's zipped up uh, in actual uh, sleeping bag configuration, right? So price on this is very good as far as a budget item if you watch my channel follow my channel you know I try being budget friendly as much as possible because um, there's sleeping bags out there that are two and three hundred dollars not typical and that's not practical for most people uh, but the price on this is twenty three ninety nine at current uh, production of this video uh, plus free shipping uh, to your door so great price I think for what you're getting so here's the thing this bag would not hold up in extreme cold weather so that is not what it's designed for um, because what I tell people is there's usually not a one-size-fit-all especially in your budget items that is going to protect you in, in extreme harsh environments right so what I would say and we'll talk about this a little bit through the video is if you use this in conjunction with some other things such as a full mylar rescue blanket that is cheap lightweight that can go in the sack if you want to stuff it in there with it um, I can I'll, in a little while I'll tell you a little bit about maybe consider using some Tyvek to make a, uh, a actual waterproof bivy to go along in conjunction with this and to kind of a system if you will and we'll talk about that here in a minute so that's like I said that's kind of the premise of why I wanted it is to have something that easily can be put in a bug out bag other people could you know have something to put in their trunk uh, or their um, you know bug out vehicle whatever for emergency purposes and if you use it in conjunction with some other items such as proper clothing what have you you should be able to stand some fairly cold uh, weather with uh, with little I mean you're not gonna be comfortable and sleep you know uh, toasty but it's going to keep you from getting hypothermia things like that possibly uh, you know exposure to extreme colds can cause that problem uh, along with other issues uh, that uh, frostbite things like that so something like this will definitely help with that um, so let's take a look at it it is a traditional style sleeping bag um, but like I said if you look at the size here when it's uh, compact 
uh, and in the stuff sack. The stuff sack is just a simple nylon. It's got these uh, cinch straps here. So you undo the cinch straps, and I'll show you what size it is uncinched. And believe it or not, it's not much bigger uh, with it uncinched as far as that goes compared to the bottle. So if you look, not a whole lot of difference there uh, in in size. So the uh, got a drawstring and a traditional style stuff sack. So let's take a look at it. They have different colors available. I requested anything they send me to be an OD green or you know a muted color like black or something, just kind of my thing. I didn't want a bright orange one. If you want a bright orange, I think they actually have that. They have some other colors. So and I'll post all that information in the section below there, where you can look specifically at the link where this is being sold. Plus you can kind of look around on their website for other items. So let's take a look at it here. If you look, traditional zipper type system, it also has a Velcro closure at the end of the zipper. The zipper actually has zipper pulls. One thing I will tell you about any of these bags, including about any sleeping bag, you have to be careful zipping it, not to zip this into the zipper. That's a real pain. I've done it a ton of times on different sleeping bags, and you just have to be careful zipping and unzipping sleeping bags. So it does have a zipper pull here, as you see comes around, zips all the way to the top, and then you have this Velcro closure that helps keep the zipper from unzipping. Uh, never forget as a kid I had a sleeping bag that didn't have this uh, in it and it kept unzipping so I wound up taking like a big old huge diaper pin and closing it so it wouldn't keep unzipping during the night. Um, I said it's a square shape, it is not a mummy shape. My kid's been using it. He likes it. He thinks it's fun, and um, just been kind of using it around the house and so forth. Uh, it unzips completely to a blanket style, so it's almost like a zippable whoopee. If you guys uh, in the military or know anything about a whoopee, it's very similar in the uh, feel as far as the weight of it and things like that. So it's almost like a whoopee that's able to zip up. And look, it's got a gray interior, uh, very nice quality. They went to a lot of detail, like inside it's kind of got the logos uh, put in it, and that's called Nature Hike, Outdoor Nature's Hike. Outdoors Nature Hike uh, is the name of this particular bag. Uh, like I said, different colors, got their logo right here on the front. Like I said, they went through pretty good effort to make this thing uh, you know, good quality. They um, also say that you can unzip it completely and then buy another one and zip it together to make enough for, you know, either one big person or for like two people if you got, you know, want to sleep in the same bag. And that would actually help in a survival situation, two people, because your body heat's going to share that together. But uh, like I said, pretty nice. And uh, I, like I said, I'm not going to go out and sleep in this thing in extreme cold weather because I know I'm going to freeze my butt off. That's, uh, <laughs> I'm not going <laughs> to you know, punish myself for the video uh, knowing it going into, that's not what it's designed for. Will it help with that? Absolutely. If you if you want to spend, you know, $24.99 and kind of keep it on a budget and knowing that it still will protect you from some elements, but yet not, uh, not going to keep you toasty warm. It's not designed for that. The good thing about it is if you just need a summer bag uh, for some day hikes that you want to keep something or some overnights you're trying to do, Hiking, this right here would also work for that in the spring and summer type weathers, maybe early fall. But uh, again, for emergency purposes, it's good in a pinch, along maybe with some other things like this Mylar blanket, proper clothing. If you wanted to build a Tyvek, if you're not familiar with this, research it on Google or YouTube or whatever. It's called Tyvek and it is the material that they wrap houses with prior to after they frame it and all that prior to putting on like brick or vinyl or whatever and it's a breathable material it's very lightweight you can buy it at Lowe's Home Depot places like that look on YouTube about building a uh, you don't have to sew it you can actually glue it together a bunch of different videos of what kind of glue you can use stuff like that and they tell you how to cut it out and you can make a waterproof bivy that you can use in conjunction with something like this or by itself potentially but it is definitely waterproof you can lay in a puddle of mud muddy water whatever and that thing will not soak through now you might get some soak through in the seam if you didn't glue it correctly but the material itself is 100 percent waterproof and it's also breathable so if you're trying to stay on the cheap but kind of build you one of those emergency uh, survival kind of systems sleep systems that's still lightweight and not big and bulky like say a military sleep system you can uh, make you a Tyvek 
uh, bivy to go on the outside of this um, on the cheap. Man, it, the, the Tyvek stuff's not all that super expensive. You can, like I said, buy it by the roll. You can buy it by the piece. So just kind of you can buy it by the foot, I think, or the yard maybe. So just check on that if you want to design one of those and build it in conjunction with this. I'll tell you a little trick about Tyvek. Uh, it's very, it's not stiff, but it's definitely stiffer than this type of material, and it's really noisy. So what I recommend is once you get it built, you can either do it before you build it or do it after you build it if you use the correct glue. Put it in your washing machine, two or three washes with some fabric softener, and it will actually soften up and be you know, a lot quieter and a lot more manageable as far as sleeping in it. Um, and you can stuff it in a sack, things like that. So that's what I would recommend. So you know, maybe in conjunction with uh, those type items, it would be an excellent s system. But anyway, guys, appreciate you tuning in. I want to thank Banggood.com for sending this out. Again, stay tuned. We're going to review some of their other products in the near future uh, as we get them in. I do have another product that I'll show you, but I want to put do it outside uh, so I can show you that product. Um, and I'll do that uh, here in the near future too. Um, but anyway, I want to thank them for sending this over. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. That's always appreciated. If you would, share content. It's over in that bottom section down there. Also, the subscribe and the, or I think the subscribe may be over here. They've changed, YouTube's changed things around. But also the share button's over here. If you would share content, that helps us get the word out. Put it on Facebook, social media, any places like that you could share it. That would be greatly appreciated. Helps us get the word out about the channel and, and these products that these vendors and stuff either send us or we pay for uh, for these reviews. But anyway, guys, appreciate you tuning in. As always, like, share, and subscribe. And we'll bring another video shortly. Have a great day.